Dallas is a true American phenomenon. Listen to this. More people tuned in to find out who shot J.R. than voted for Carter and Reagan combined in the last election. 83 million people watched the conclusion of the Dallas Who Done It. That episode scored the highest rating for any program in modern television history. Why? Because of the sexy, sinful doings of J.R. Ewing and his oil-rich family. They create a cast of primetime soap opera characters we love and hate. Larry Hagman knew that this formula would be a success. Well, because I just really got tired of everybody being so nice, like the Waltons, everybody's so nice, you know, and you just want to puke, I tell you. So this one was right up my alley. I wanted something that would, you know, kick around a little bit, you know. And boy, we sure got people sure want to kick this character around. Because <laughs> in the first show, there was not one nice, redeeming, kind character. Mother was terrible, and Bobby was terrible, and Dad was terrible, and I was the worst, of course. But since then, it's kind of all leaked down to me, kind of settled down at the bottom here. Sixteen years ago, Larry Hagman was bumbling his way through the Air Force with a genie who popped out of a bottle. Now, Hagman is the lowest, meanest, and most popular varmint on television. The only thing that's popping out of a bottle these days for Hagman is champagne, toasting his reported $75,000 per show. The wages of sin.